So in this video today, I'm going to show you some of the microorganisms that I found while I was walking and hiking around a beautiful mountain lake. It was actually quite cold, uh, still sunny. Um, and this is not a time of year where you normally expect uh, to find a lot of microorganisms. Uh, but I was lucky and I'm going to show you two places uh, where I was successful. So hi, Microbe Hunter here and uh, I'm now hiking around the Almsee. The Almsee is a beautiful lake in Austria. It's uh, been snowing overnight. It's a little bit cold today. Um, so uh, we've got a very beautiful uh, winter landscape here. And I'm searching for some uh, samples for microscopy uh, so that I can put something under the microscope. Um, I don't know if I'll be very successful. After all, it is winter and uh, there are not going to be so many algae and microorganisms in the water. But the lake is not frozen, so uh, maybe I'll be able to find something. We'll see. And uh, that's one of the nice things about microscopy. You're always in for a surprise. I almost uh, can't believe it. There's even an information board here um, about microscopic algae that uh, they found here in this lake. Now the air temperature was relatively cold. Uh, it was several degrees uh, below zero centigrade, but the water was liquid. It was not frozen yet because a few days ago it was still quite warm. Of course, I was looking immediately for some interesting specimens and I found a whole n large number of decomposing leaves on the shore of, of the lake. And this is, of course, a great food source for microorganisms which break down on the organic material of the leaves. I always uh, take along um, a small plastic container and uh, I collected a few of these leaves and uh, took them along. On the leaf there is a biofilm. This is uh, the layer where microorganisms, bacteria, but also ciliates and other organ microorganisms are living. And it's, it's exactly this biofilm that I want uh, to investigate. And so here we can see a little bit better how it looks like. Of course, you also want to make sure that the leaves do not dry out. Now, there are a lot of rising air bubbles in the lake. And I was thought, well, hmm, could this be this decomposition gases, methane gas maybe, or carbon dioxide gas, which are made by bacteria, which are breaking down the material, organic material. But during the winter time, during that temperature, very unlikely. Um, I did a little bit of research and was able to find out that those bubbles are indeed air bubbles because the whole lake is a natural spring. So there is always fresh water water flowing in into the lake from beneath and they carry along and this carries along also the air, air which then bubbles out. I carefully scratched off uh, some of the biofilm to prepare a microscope slide and uh, then yeah as always I want to know well, what can you see and uh, yes <laughs> you rot the fur what did you expect they are very common these are micro animals of course and uh, what they do is, is uh, they suck in bacteria and cellular debris it basically sucks in all of the food that it wants to break down and digest of course um, our occasional paramecium again they are also quite common and the big ear bubble by the way is also something that you can see here now the colors that you see uh, might look a little bit different than what you're used to from my videos and this is because I'm now experimenting around a little bit by doing color adjustments and so I changed the colors and made everything appear a little bit more bluish greenish uh, so these are not the natural colors and I certainly did not add any stains or pigments uh, to the sample it's simply a video editing uh, experiment that I'm doing right now I don't know if you like it or not uh, you leave your comments uh, behind. Yeah, what else shall I say? Of course, uh, occasional nematode worms. Uh, these are also decomposers that can be found uh, also on decaying wood. I found them a lot. Also, of course, on leaves and other decaying organic material. The biodiversity of these nem nematode worms is really high. There are a lot of them. I continued my walk and uh, after a short time, um, I was uh, the uh, sun started to set a little bit, uh, but uh, I was still lucky enough uh, just in time uh, to find another interesting place uh, to collect uh, a specimen. Not the water like you can see over here, uh, but uh, it was some moss. So I continued my walk and immediately found um, a, an old tree stump covered in moss. At least the side that was turned to 
towards the sun was covered in moss the other side was quite yeah frozen and snowed snow covered and maybe maybe i'm a little bit lucky again to find uh, some tardigrades here usually they're quite common and uh, i took along uh, a sample and tardigrades are quite uh, temperature resilient so they have no problem surviving those low temperatures however they like to cling to the moss uh, they have claws and therefore removing them from the moss to make a slide is not always so easy so you have to be patient a little bit you have to rinse uh, the moss in water and then you have to hope that some of those tardigrades let go to be flushed away into the water um, and uh, i was indeed able to find well not so many of them really only about uh, two or three of them one dead one even <laughs> um, but uh, i was at, at least it shows that even during winter time uh, those tardigrades are happily uh, moving around and active yeah, and here here it's the same one again um, a little bit later again the colors um, i have adjusted a little bit here uh, because i'm experimenting around a little bit with video editing but maybe maybe i'm going to uh, leave the colors different again natural again in the future yeah this uh, rotifer over here is pulling along a whole bunch of things here because the rotifer has a foot uh, with which it attaches uh, to a surface and in this case it attached uh, to some algae yeah, dead organic material and uh, kept on dragging it along. At the place where I live, uh, it's unfortunately not snowing so much anymore. This is the reason uh, why we've uh, decided to take uh, the day hike uh, to the beautiful lake over there. Um, and uh, if uh, you want uh, to also uh, observe uh, microorganisms in during winter time, then this is of course possible. Um, but uh, material that is frozen, of course, must be thawed up. And then I recommend that you leave it uh, for maybe for a few days, because this is also what the time then when micro organisms start to become active and at room temperature they might even continue um, and start to reproduce. Yeah, the sun was uh, slowly setting, uh, but there is one last uh, one last microbe that I really want to show you, and that is an amoeba that I found. And this here is now in time lapse, lapse approximately 10 times faster than in real life. So you see here, uh, even those amoeba are happily active and decomposing material. Well, I, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I hope that you liked the film. I, today I also wanted to show you a little bit of the environment on, of the nature. It's a little bit of a slightly different style of making a video. Leave your comments uh, in the comment section on how you like it. Right now, I just want to wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always, and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.